Hey Virgos, and welcome to your December 2017 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead. And, you know, it's all kind of um, scattered in a lot of different places, I feel like, for you guys. Um, you guys do have the tower this month, as you have had it a lot. A lot of signs have had the tower. I don't know what it's been, but for me as a reader, I feel like that's been the card of 2017 for most people, because it comes up for me all the time, as well as the devil. Um, so it's just been kind of like a dark moment and lots of um, darkness being transmutated into light because I always like to say that the tower, the devil, those cards that feel dark are not really evocative of the darkness itself, but rather the process of that being transmuted. Sometimes darkness can be very present in your life and it can actually feel light because it's not really been identified as darkness. Um, and that's kind of been a light bulb moment for me that I've made over the last month. Um, you know, really realizing that some things that feel like the best parts of your life are um, actually working themselves out to be quite dark presences. So um, that might sound a bit um, doom and gloom, but I am a Scorpio and I am here to help you guys try to transcend that as you guys are dealing with a lot of it right now. Um, you guys will see yourself be new people by January or February, I feel like. Um, you've been new people a lot of times this year, but it always seems to come back to kind of one specific complex. Um, as Virgo kind of feels like it has a lot of complexes to me or a lot of small intricate experiences of life that might be a little bit difficult to navigate right now. You guys have a lot of light coming through, though, with the darkness. I mean, you have the High Priestess and the Hero Font, um, as well as Major Arcana cards, which you kind of... So you have, like, an even amount. Both of those cards are very much light cards to me, and then the Tower and the Devil card can be quite dark. So um, you are really confronting yourself. There's sort of a... Um, very strong merging happening within you as um, two very separate parts of your personality are really starting to integrate into one, I feel. Um, it will be a month where it will be wonderful to hone in on your eccentricity, to really understand, you know, how despite all of these uh, roadblocks that you may have experienced, um, how you've really developed many different aspects um, of personality and really become more instinctual, I feel. I feel like your instincts have been honed or you've become more based on instinct versus preconceptions um, as well as perceiving things to be what they actually are versus making them out to be something that they're not so that you kind of go through this huge spiritual awakening and basically December really comes in to sort of um, pull out anything which is still holding on which is false so it's kind of evocative to me of like pruning off dead leaves or something or um, trying to not hold on to that at least. Some of you may have had a bit of a tendency to hold on to dead leaves or to hold on to foliage, which is no longer um, fertile anymore. So you will have a lot of luck with that though this month. Um, relationships which have been holding on for a long time, for those of you who have felt kind of like stalked or um, have felt like people can't let go of you, it seems easier this, this month to um, you know, instigate kind of a process of easier letting go. For those of you Virgos who are on the other side of that and have felt like you can't let go of an ex or that you can't let go of someone from your past, it should actually start to happen much easier now, but you have to want it to. You have to come into a place where you're no longer constrained by what you feel like you lost in other people or trying to distract yourself with relationships. This can be a bit of a problem with Virgo um, as you're like that immutable earth energy, so you're very much um, tied to other people and other people can sometimes generate what feels real to you uh, and there's definitely a pull for you guys to start generating that within yourselves and not needing other people to make you feel real um, you can feel taken advantage of through that though like maybe you start to realize how other people were never really out for your best interest but through you needing them to distract you from yourself you sort of made them out to be someone who was more real than they were lots of little complexities like that coming forward which feel very draining to pull together as that whole sentence for me just kind of was like not really um the most lovely experience to make out um but anyway i want to get into your week to week so i can help guide you guys hopefully through some of these uh, more difficult experiences Week number one, you guys have two of cups reversed, you're down by the high priestess. So really coming to a big spiritual awakening through um, categorizing loss or through 
realizing what loss was to you. And this is a big concept for everyone this month um, and, and throughout all of 2017 as everyone has kind of had some kind of loss um, or even through 2016 as well that might still be echoing right now. And it feels like in December, starting in the first week, you can really start to understand what that actually was and how that was actually shaping you. How perhaps through this loss, you've actually been motivated to do what you never would have been otherwise um, and seeing that as a spiritual journey versus an existential crisis. And, and I think that that's what we kind of all try to do on YouTube here is um, to try to highlight what is um, a spiritual journey versus an existential crisis. So maybe you're starting to um, realize that in a different way or balance out those sort of um, um, things which you might have seen the other way because I think Virgo can sometimes make crisis out of um, small things because that's what you do. You're detail-oriented, you're organized, you're structured, you structure small details of life. So with this ability, you can make small, intricate parts of life become really um, monumental crisis if you're not careful. And in, in the first week, you guys are seeing through that. You're seeing through whatever false idea of life you've given to yourself, whatever whatever false experience that you have highlighted becomes obvious now, and it will be important to not be harsh with yourself about that because everyone's kind of done that, and people have kind of encouraged you to do that. What you can do is really see through yourself and what sort of um, puppeteering ways maybe you've actually used yourself or how you've kind of even used yourself as a puppet is what I'm kind of feeling from that energy and really coming to love yourself and to be more wholesome within yourself. The high priestess is all about wholesomeness within yourself and not needing to concern yourself with caveats or concern yourself with, um, a second guessing or second second hand experiences of what has happened in the second week. You guys have the hero font rooted down by five of swords. And I feel through this experience, it kind of, builds even higher. You kind of get to the next level through realizing this wholesomeness within yourself. You're kind of given a key to a locked door experience on your path. Maybe there's been something that's been inaccessible, a person that's been inaccessible, or just a job or walk of life that's felt inaccessible. And I feel like through this realization that you gain in the first week of December, perhaps through even um, small sensory stimulation, starts to open up doors for you, which you never thought that you could. And you have to beware as you start to become successful, so I feel like success really starts in the second week. Um, some of you who are business owners or invested in a lot of different ways can start to really reap benefits here. So definitely think about who you're attracting in during that time. You know, who's with you when times are good and who's with you when times are bad. Uh, because Five of Swords connected to this type of energy feels like people who want to sort of leech off of your benevolence or leech off of your successes and people who want to sort of absorb your energy one way or another. So definitely pay attention to who's wanting to be around during the second week, as people who are really active during this time can be very leechy type of energy. And it, there's also a message to be careful of who's really engaging you right now. Um, the Hierophant is a card of engagement. It can even be marriage ceremonies, but I tend to feel with your type of energy, it's more of like engaging in like conversation or engaging in some kind of um, traditional affairs or something. Although some of you could be getting proposed to as well, so definitely watch out for that. I mean, it's not bad, and congratulations if you are, but it feels like you need to know who you're dealing with. Um, it's not a good time for like really quick engagements, although, although with Jupiter and Scorpio, very short-term, small experiences, like perhaps an engagement that only lasts like three months, can really motivate you in a really powerful way, but it's a very painful process, and it's kind of better to give it to yourself or better to have this experience without... Um, someone else. So it really goes both ways. You're kind of going to do really well either way, but it's kind of a matter of like how much emotional burdens do you want to take on. People who propose things in general, whether it be marriage or business uh, collaborations, um, may not have the most wonderful intentions, but it does work out for you either way. Uh, it just could be very stressful. In the third week, you guys have uh, Seven of Pentacles reversed, rooted down by the devil. So um, be careful of overplaying the past or being too nostalgic right now. Seven of Pentacles is popping up for everyone here this month. I think like half of the signs have it. So it's a card of taking stock and um, thinking about where you've been, what you've done. Maybe you're like doing your taxes 
is realizing how much money you've made and realizing and thinking about like, is this something that I want to continue or do I want to change? Um, be careful about doing it too much, about doing it to a fault, because I feel like Virgo is kind of like a taxing type of sign, even if it's not like um, income taxes or something, like you're really thinking about how you've been taxed this year by other people, or how relationships have taxed you. Um, again, Virgo is one of the ruling signs of taxes, like second to Scorpio and Pluto, so um, definitely think about how you've been taxed this year, because the devil is also that type of energy as well. It's about cycles and about things which you can't avoid in life and feeling very shackled to something. So I feel like some of you are just having like tax debts or um, thinking about your debt in general. As December is like a really big money month um, for everyone in general, because it starts Capricorn time, which is a money sign. And um, obviously it's the end of the calendar year. So there's a lot of taxing things and it's a natural time of money. So I talk a little bit about money in December readings. Um, you guys need to disconnect a little bit. It feels like money could be in a negative cycle or a um, sort of um, something that's constraining you. So a little bit less focus on money is good or a little bit less focus on like, I've made this much every month and I need to make this much. Um, it will be good to really uh, think more about tangible things because people think about money as something that's tangible, but I've been saying a lot um, that money is not real. You know, it makes real changes and it, it establishes real things in your life, but the money itself is never real. So if you concern yourself too much with it, you can start to be kind of delusional or you can start to generate a lot of unreal circumstances in your life. So um, definitely detach as much as you can while doing the logistics that you need to do. Um, finding that balance will be really important. Uh, cycles in general, anything that feels addictive in your life or very repetitive can be quite easily shed here. Um, it's this way for everyone. You know, addictions, as I've said with Jupiter and Scorpio, it can be very easy to let them go. Whatever's feeling like you don't need it anymore can be easily let go of here and now. So I would start that process in the third week of December if you can. Mm -hmm. In the fourth week, you guys have Queen of Wands rooted down by Knight of Cups reversed. So definitely exhaling here. Maybe a lot of you are on holiday now or you're taking some time off from work. Um, it's much less universally empowered and it really feels like a break. There have been a lot of signs that just have these weeks in December where it's only court cards, but the rest of the reading is really colored by really intense archetypes, and I've come to interpret that as just, you know, stepping back, maybe being involved with people, being with platonic friends, or um, addressing certain people, but it's really a good time to not be so concerned with people. It's a good time to step back into yourself and not be really that concerned with anything. Like, really allow yourself some cellular turnover, um, new sensory experiences, um, Exhaling, just the whole general idea of exhaling and releasing old energies which are no longer necessary because we'll be going into the new year after this, which is not as um, important as a lot of people make it out to be. That's usually like in like the middle of March, you know, where um, Pisces goes into Aries time is more of a real new year type of energy um, because as we go into January, it's Capricorn time, which is the solidification of something, not really the beginning of something new. Um, but we still, we still have that calendar turnover so it can feel... Um, new in a lot of other ways and the collective conscious makes that new so there is still some amount of that so I would exhale as much as you can during the last week of December and prepare for um, some small new sensory stimulations and you know Virgos your central theme is the tower this month um, it's not surprising all of this that I've sort of talked about in the reading is kind of falling through in a way um, all of this is serving as the destruction, the debris, as well as the foundation for what you're going to be doing with yourself over the next coming year. Um, you may find a year from now that you're a completely changed person, that you are no longer basking in whatever kind of energetic cycles that you are right now, and rather you've generated a completely new reality for yourself, which you're very um, called to do. Saturn's moving into Capricorn this month. We'll have Jupiter and Scorpio now. And both of those things, Virgo, kind of affect you from far off ways or from um, strange kind of angles. So it's not really very predictable what exactly happens to you. It very much depends on your own actions, as it does for everyone. But this is even more um, emphasized for you. You know, structures, transformations, new ways of living life, new organizational systems will all become very real for you. It should become easier, it should become more intuitive, and you should be rewarded quite a lot for what small ways you can structure your life here and now. Um, I'm really rooting for you guys. I'm trying to not make it too specific. I'm trying to keep readings quite abstract in December because um, it's important to not make self-fulfilling prophecies and it's important to not... Um, really project too much here. It's more of an exhale. It's more of a sigh of relief, especially for your sign. So um, for that reason, I'm keeping it quite abstract. And I feel like just understanding that 
things are so transformative and understanding that new structures are coming into place through small actions and through sensory experiences that you're going through is the most important um, communication for this month. Um, if you guys would like to get more specific uh, realization on this, you can book a session with me and I can look into your personal energy versus the collective. Um, that link should be popping up in the center of your screen. As well as you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. I would appreciate that so much. It would be a wonderful Christmas gift to me if you guys would subscribe. Um, and you can also like and comment on the video. It keeps me going. And check out your sun, moon, and rising sign in the playlist. I will be talking to you guys in January. Much love and talk to you soon. Bye.